Right. Here's uh, my little, hopefully a little solution to what affects the period of a pendulum. So let's start off. This is a six foot pendulum. I'm going to start with a uh, little swing and we're going to calculate its period. So ready? Go. One. Two. Okay, 13.5 seconds. So divided by five, that's a little bit less than five seconds per, per uh, sorry, 15 divided by, 13.5 divided by five is about three seconds, a little less than three seconds per um, period. Okay, let's try with a higher swing. Ready, go. Oops, ready, go. One. Three, four, five. 13.6 seconds. So within a tenth of a second of my, my starting lower starting position. So really it turns out if you start a pendulum here or here, it doesn't matter. Um, the period isn't affected by where it starts, okay, or how high it's swinging. Um, let's move on to the next test. That would be a shorter pendulum. Just here, get some slack. Go about half the half the length. No. Stopwatch. Here we go. So I'm going to start it from back here. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Nine point six seconds. So instead of thirteen and a half, by shortening this up, right, I've effectively shortened how long it takes to swing from side to side. So the length. Right, influences the period of the pendulum. And the last test, I have to go to a uh, different mass pumpkin. So let me try and make sure this stays constant. So down to the center of the pumpkin is 35 inches. So let me untie this guy. Let's see if we can get 35 inches down to the center of mass here. I think it was a little higher. Oops. I'll double check this once I get it tied off. I should have done the lower one. See, that looks a little low. No, hey, pretty good. 35 to the center of the pumpkin. So the last time, to remind you guys, was 9.68 seconds. So here we go. Reset. Ready. Go. One. Two. Three. Four, five. All right, so this came out to 9.46 or 9.5 seconds. So 9.5 seconds compared to 9.6 seconds. Again, my stopwatch technique, doing this all myself was not great. So within a tenth of a second difference. So mass, right, regardless of mass, things fall at the same rate. And that's what Galileo had said. Well, they also swing on a pendulum at the same rate. So regardless of mass, the pendulum period will only be influenced by the length of the pendulum. Doesn't matter how heavy, doesn't matter where you swing it from. All that matters is how long the pendulum is. So that's why, right, we can uh, actually time things by swinging objects and by harmonic motion, by motion back and forth 
and that's how old school clocks and the springs inside um, watches would work is basically little pendulums that would um, keep time. So that's also how metronomes work.